just so you guys all know. Right. We might cut all that out, you know. That's okay, fine. yeah. I don't know. I think you probably should. <laughs> <laughs> was, I mean, I was bored keep in, in conversation. Keep in the Michael Jackson part if you got well, that. No, Everything <laughs> else can go. All right, so right off the bat. When you come on our guest or on our Ooh. show, you get gifts. So Ooh. look at that. Sam Talent actually left a box of wine at our house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I got uh, like a re gift. Yeah, oh, yeah. Classic re gift. Sam Talent trickle down. I love right Sam there. Talent. So anything that comes from Sam Talent. What kind of wine is this? I honestly just grabbed the one pink bottle out of I want the box. you to say this word. I want you to pronounce this these words in English. Golly. I, so I took French and Coleman. So like bonjour y'all. <laughs> yeah, well that that is French, so this would be in your wheelhouse. Um Marque de Cherie. <laughs> hey, Cherie is a, it's, I thought that was good. I mean, it's it, it's probably like Mar it's, like Marc It's so Chant. different from how I would say it that yeah. I almost believe that you're right. It's got to be more pretentious though, I think. Marque de Cherie. Yeah, something like that. Put a little oomph into yeah. it. It's pretty, That's very it nice. Looks nice. Yeah. I'm kind of proud of Sam. We have a fun. Remember when we went to lunch with Sam and Tim Dillon? Yeah. And just, it was at this really fancy, like, members only hotel. New York City. In New York City. And Sam shows up in shorts. <laughs> and they were like, they wouldn't let him in. It was that kind of place where they yeah. go, we have a dress code up here. So then, luckily, <laughs> Tim and Sam are pretty close in yeah, size. Yeah. And Tim had an extra pair of pants, and we had to like go down to his room, and Sam had to put the pants. He had to put on, on Tim Dillon's pants to eat lunch. <laughs> so it's Which just a great. weird start to the lunch. Yeah. You know? It's a weird start it was to the a meal. Start. Comfortable the whole lunch. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that he has some some French wine. He's classing it up now. That's right. It is still. Uh, a well, he did have it. So what's funny it's is someone in Birmingham gave oh, it yeah, to him right. like right after the show, uh -huh. and then yeah. he literally like five minutes later left it at my house and just was like took <laughs> a train to never be seen again yeah now it's mine yep <laughs> i have the remnants shout out to the guy that brought him the wine at the yeah time. it's somebody in birmingham that's sitting there going i didn't want these podcasters <laughs> to have this wine <laughs> it'll go to a good home next thing we got aaron this is, this is for you oh whoa what is this a t-shirt let me look at the size before i even open it's it up merch I, I think I, I think I did right. A 2X. Look at that. You That's nailed it. You nailed Whoa. It. This is sweet. This is new. Movie oh, yeah. Ruiners merch. T-shirt with the pocket. The pocket is, is clutch. That a, is that Comfort we Colors? Call it comfort pocket. Colors. Comfort yeah. Colors yeah. is top tier. Yeah. Comfort Colors is a good brand. We don't skimp. Now check out No, the that's back. nice You'll stuff. Oh, there's something familiar on there. Oh, dude. Oh, this is cool. the Keir Smith. Yep. drawing yep, of all right. the different guests yeah. that's amazing dude yeah we Is just you? followed your lead Maybe. we just we that, liked his work and we just kept working with him that's me on the top left this is awesome dude when i when this poster came out i was like Let's that see. is I, really I well done most. you can probably name everybody on here that's Catherine that blanford for the listeners. mark norman sam Marill, funny main zach townsend sam talent up there on the top right will foskey that's awesome dude two Thank nobodies you. in the middle i will wear <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm, obviously you guys are in it. Uh, it'd be, it'd that's been awesome, funny dude. if I leaned Thank over you. and were like, and now who are those two? <laughs> I don't recognize them. We're planning on doing a second one, and Lucy's going to be sitting oh, by you. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, there that'll be go. the next shirt. Thank you. I will wear this a lot. Comfort Colors is legit. That's yeah. like my favorite T-shirt brand. No, I, yeah, me too. And, 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 and you knew that, too. Your yeah. favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I know how much you care for this, so. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a little room temp. So it's oh. actually a, a candle. If you pop that top there, it's actually a candle. Oh, that's Whoa. sick. Whoa. <laughs> that is cool. But that is very cool. It actually, it smells pretty good. Didn't want to. <laughs> not come with the real deal. <laughs> In that's that classic, about, that dude. black <laughs> bag. Are we getting after it today, fellas? <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that man. little Irish crickets. <laughs> All right, I'll I'm do into it. it. Cheers, Luce. The classic. <laughs> You're not drinking, the, dude. Right. You, you on the? I can't you do, in the program I can't do now. Dairy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't do not to yeah, yeah. Metaphorically, cheers. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. That is good stuff. It's so gross. Don't act like that's bad. Sometimes it's you, bad. Lucy, will <laughs> make a face not proportionate to how gross something is. 
This genuinely is gross to me, though. Oh. You don't like chocolate water? I don't like milk. <laughs> it, it, it does taste milk? like chocolate water. There's no milk in it. It's called it, chocolate drink. Are you serious? Drink. There's zero percent. Look at the. Ingredient. Are you for real? Yeah, it'll change your opinion. Okay, oh, this is that's blowing the my problem. Mind. Is we didn't shake it. We forgot to mm, shake it. Uh, that's okay. the problem. You'd be all over it if you had <laughs> shaken it. So yeah. what is it? It's sugar and drink. water. It's fifty percent of your daily sugar. <laughs> That That's does what not it is. sound good. No, it's not. 52% That's so actually. Bad. Oh 33 God. grams, including 26 okay. grams of added sugar. High fructose corn syrup, not supposed to be good. Whey, <laughs> which is in parentheses from milk, it says on oh, so Yeah, look, milk's involved, but we're contains, not going to call it chocolate. Like milk. Contains less than 2% of cocoa. So, I mean, how much do you want? How much is it going to take for you to Any be satisfied? Four percent, five percent. I think two is the perfect gum, amount. That's always in stuff. Now, here's the thing. I know you guys. You guys. This is very cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, but I think you know. I we brought you guys some gifts too. No, this is so funny. Brought, I okay. I love that you. We did brought this. you guys some gifts. If it's you, who uh, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be great. Now you brought me some merch we're gonna start out i got some merch for you guys here this is awesome this is a first that's, that's, oh, a, that's nice. a sticker oh, of me nice. that Keir smith, smith the same guy who did the drawing Dude, that's awesome. and then i know you guys last time brought me that ips hat i wanted to return the favor look at that little aaron land hat <laughs> oh man you, awesome. you don't have to wear it now but you gotta you know no, I got to. add I got it to the to arsenal gotta repay the favor There's zero chance i'm not wearing this. and i've got more in here but we'll get into it later all yeah. right we'll keep it going i just wanted to forth. return the favor it's one of those things it's like yeah you guys give gifts all the time but i just feel like it's time yeah no that's somebody good. gives you all you reverse something reverse santa us that's yeah. right that's what i do he gave me no heads up so i just kind of look like a well, this sure. is from both of us. This is how brought, marriage. I could have brought some stuff. This is how marriage works. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. You know how many times now it's like Lucy's we get Christmas presents or, for somebody, and I'm like, yeah, well, just put my name on it. <laughs> That's how it works. You get yeah. the gift, and now everything's from That's Lucy true. and Aaron. You don't get to separate That's anymore. True. I wish you had a Lucy Land hat. I know I should make one <laughs> <laughs> for a non-existent podcast. Hey, you could sell them. Next thing I got for you, Lucy. Oh, hold on. I, you need you I to hold this. this. Y'all might have some significance here. Oh, my here. gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Describe what it is, Luce. It's a Sinbad VHS Shazam. This is not a real movie, though. <laughs> okay. Why does it feel like a real movie? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because of the thing. Um, What's it called? Uh uh, the the, Manda the, Mandela the Bobby effect. McFerrin effect. Yeah, what is it called? The Mandela. The Mandela. Mandela. <laughs> the, Mandela. <laughs> the Bobby McFerrin effect. I was like, isn't he a chess player? But no. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby McFerrin is don't worry, be happy. We Don't worry. This is so cool. That's but I awesome. I don't understand. What is, is there actually a VHS tape in there? Uh, I Did don't you guys know. have this made? No, I just found it online. But I saw where oh. a, a, a few years ago she tape. posted on Instagram that you gave her a Sinbad book. We love Sinbad in our house. You're um, not going to believe the next gift I have for I, you. <laughs> <laughs> Please be Sinbad. Wait, right? if it's that book, I'm going to lose it. If it's that it. book. i got to reach in. i got Man. my little backpack of goodies in here. Um, here we go. This is... Uh, <laughs> no way! <laughs> this is Sinbad's guide to life because i know everything <laughs> funny 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 this is the one there it is, is man the coolest. is this the How same one that? or Look did you God, buy dude. another <laughs> that's the same book man i don't have multiple copies of that that's, re that's the original <laughs> <laughs> the regifters new podcast i go. love it that's the original copy right there it's dude. just wow. an hey, hour can I tell of you something? giving you can I tell something can i be i know it's a funny podcast can i be serious for a second go ahead that book changed my life so, <laughs> so, yeah. so i didn't want to laugh i just at want you. you to read it and i want you to take in what sinbad has to God, say i wish there was an audio book <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can yeah. probably find it out there it's uh if you open it up the writing's pretty big on each of those pages <laughs> so yeah. it, it's deceptively short you can always use my one of my 13 free audible credits because oh. i have Whatever. never used them You've been stacking those but on. i won't cancel my subscription. membership of audible <laughs> yeah and i've never used it so i each each month, one of my credits goes away, but I still have thirteen at all times. So. Well, yeah, well, let's cash those in. Yeah, I got a lot. Of, I want to get George Bush reading dis decision points. I want to get that. Okay, we'll get some Sinbad <laughs> books. You know, have y'all met Sinbad, Nick? You have, right? Yeah, yeah. He, oh yeah, I've met came, Sinbad he used to a lot. Stardom a lot, and so he'd come through Rick and Bubba when I was there, 
and I would routinely go and get his breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? That was important in his life. That is. I mean, look, it's the most important meal of the day. It's better than lunch. <laughs> Lucy, you've been working with yeah, Sinbad for Sinbad years, forever. right? Unfortunately, he had a, a stroke, but um, so I haven't yeah. seen him in a while. Still, yeah. still recovering from that. That was a very surreal moment in my young comedy career. Was like I'm at work at like probably 4:30. Yeah. About to go home, and Lucy texted me, "Sinbad's opener missed his flight." Oh, I remember that. So I had, at like, very last minute came in and opened for Sinbad. It was just, like, a surreal thing. Oh, wow. And then, because this, this is a guy from Good Burger. Oh, you know, yeah. and now I'm just sitting in a room with... And Shazam. Meteor and Shazam. Man. There you go. I, like, Dude, I love Meteor Man. I swear he put both his hands on his hips and he went, Meteor Man! <laughs> I was like, he did it for you. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> like, He's that kind of guy. Yeah, dude. it was it was very touching. That is special. Well, that's awesome, dude. That's going to go right on a... Uh, we have... A lot of DVDs, a lot of Blu-rays, not many VHS tapes. Yeah. So this will be. But it can go in front of. This will go right on the yeah. shelf, man. That's awesome. Or it can go by seasons like three and three of King of Queens. We have two right, right in between. Of it. You like mugs <laughs> <laughs> with your name on them. Whoa! Look at this. This is a Doug mug. You guys don't. Oh, understand. did you know that that it rhymed? A Doug mug. A Doug mug. mug. <laughs> I didn't think I, about that. I yeah. don't know if you know this, but I hate that he puts down Doug. I don't know why. It like makes me. F I want to be like that's not it every time. Just for some it. context, I I have a, a <laughs> joke about when you have to give your name. I don't like to say Aaron, so I, I've said Doug, and I've done that for years. And Lucy does hate it. I don't know why. I don't like. I think I just feel like I'm lying to somebody who doesn't deserve to be lied. Doug. To. That's exactly king, king of Queens. Isn't that? No wait. No, that's it, where it comes from. Yeah, yeah. Comes yeah from. Doug Heffernan. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to say my TV name's Doug Heffernan. <laughs> I'm not going to ridiculous. That'd be crazy that to give your full far. name. <laughs> But I'll give the first name, and Lucy does. And you're right. That's exactly what you're doing is you're lying. Yeah. But little white <laughs> lies aren't too bad. All right, I got another gift. I got a Nick gift for you, Nick. All right. This is, I know, I know <laughs> you're. It's a Doug mug. If there's anything I know about you, it's that you are a bit of a booze hound. I am. Right? You like to get after it. I do. And I'd say one of the main things you need to do after a night of getting after it is need to recover, right? Recovering's big. That's a big part of drinking. So, I got you. A bag of, oh, dude! I got you a bag of uh, I liquid. I drink these all the time. Liquid IV. They're so good. That's a bag of the uh, what flavor is that? Lemon lime. Oh, I didn't oh, even give you my favorite flavor. These lemon but lime and strawberry are my two favorites. I have those are the best probably ones. thirty of those at the house. They keep sending them to me. Do they? Really? So you can <laughs> you can take one out of my hands, but you will use that. I know you I, will. Absolutely. Will. Yeah, yeah. I use it all the time. I use it before I work out. Oh. Not, me too. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a pre-workout. Well, just like hydrate. I, you know, I'm about to sweat. I will say right. sometimes he's usually drunk before the workouts. Yeah, yeah, I'm so hammered <laughs> with workout. Dude. Sometimes Aaron just drinks them in the morning. Just and I was like, that seems odd to me. There but was a, about a month stretch yeah. where I would start the day with a liquid IV. Yeah. But you don't drink. It was a good month. <laughs> so I mean, it's hydration, <laughs> okay. but you're so hydrated. You yeah. are. You're so hydrated. And hydration's key. It's one of the main things I, I talk about. <laughs> My mom keeps sending me articles, like, about liquid IV not actually. And I'm like, relax, lady. Like, it can't be bad, bad. Yeah, it's not. Look, there's a lot of sugar in that. I will say that. But there's a lot of sugar in Yoohoo, and there's nothing wrong with a Yoohoo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's probably on par. Maybe mix that liquid IV yeah. in with oh, the Yoohoo. Yeah. <laughs> lime you. Mm -hmm. that's I'm a good still day. blown away that it doesn't have milk in it. Like I'm gonna remember that. Oh, that's for the maybe rest the least life. surprising thing to me about that. <laughs> I thought for sure there's not milk in it. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, we've got yeah. another gift here. This is a hoodie. black hoodie. I'm doing what my grandmother does on Christmas yeah, morning. Yeah. I'm like narrating. <laughs> hold All it right, up. We've got hold it up. Oh my God, it's um Quirky St. Clair, right? <laughs> yep. Who is that? From um Waiting for Guffman. Oh, that's a character from the you movie. You never got through that movie, did you? I never, I've never. i never seen the You've movie. You've never been into like a, a mockumentary-style movie. Oh, I love mockumentaries. You love The the Office, but I'm like Christopher Guest, you know. No, I love mockumentary movies. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, I've just never seen Waiting for Guest. That's awesome. So you know that, that, that was yeah. her, that's so her favorite movie well, of all time. I remember you saying you, you love Christopher Guest. Yeah. Christopher love. Guest famously uh, played the uh, A Few Good Men. He was in what? A Few Good Men. He played the doctor on the base. He testifies in court. One of the weirdest, most random cameos of all time. He's just, it's a very small part. He's in it for maybe two minutes. What a great movie. And you're like, that's Christopher Guest. So that's what I know about him. Yeah. But 
He's also married to somebody. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes, I that yeah. I just found that out, really? and that blew mm -hmm. my mind. I would have never put them together. Yeah. But what? Two but they're both very fine. talented people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now that you say it, it's like sure. Yeah. But How about Cheryl Hines and Robert F. Kennedy Dude, Jr.? What? what? Yeah. Did you know that Robert F. Kennedy Jr., candidate for president? Yeah. Son of Robert F. Kennedy. I know who he is. Nephew of John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Correct. <is laughs> Thank you married, for the family tree. <laughs> is married to Cheryl Hines from Curb Your Enthusiasm. No. Yeah. Isn't he like big into conspiracy theories? Well, it depends on who you ask. But yeah, he's married to Cheryl Hines. <laughs> so I thought you turned that to a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone say he's dead on with a lot of stuff. But uh... <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, sorry, I got to put these glasses on to talk about that. Some would say he speaks the truth and others are afraid to. How long have they been married? I think since 2012. Okay, so a long time. I haven't I'm read his Wikipedia now, recently or anything. What? Uh, the sunglasses. What do you guys yeah, you think? Did, you didn't like the outfit the other day, did you? No. I think it's it really this, the no, hat was cool. We got a couple like Alabama boys. Y'all get it. <laughs> Y'all yeah. get the vibe. Yeah, I, I, I went wanna... to Troy State. Like, this is the kind of guy I am. I just want to give you a Bud Heavy right now. Yeah, dude. I got one in the backpack. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Once I finish this you who I'm going to wash it down with a Bud Heavy. <laughs> oh All right, I got you another gift, man. Let's, oh, let's walk man. through it. I thought about that poster, the poster on the back of the T-shirt. I saw that, and I thought, man, I'd like to get that printed and framed. But you guys know, I mean, what a hassle getting stuff framed yeah. is, right? It's just a nightmare. And then you got to hang it up. And then, you know, you get the frame. You got just a frame in there for it? <laughs> yeah. I was like, if you pull out a frame print of that, out of that backpack, dude. No, but then the thing is, you know, you put it on your wall, and you're like, wow, I just committed to that. Like, what if I want to change what's in the Ooh, frame? So what I got that? you is a uh, – <laughs> this, uh, this is a Carver – digital yeah. picture frame this is ridiculous <laughs> it's so much nicer than anything we've ever yeah. given anybody yeah <laughs> they said, like, we, like we gave our mom one of yeah, these. Yeah. Say, to be fair they did send well look to feel us. free to yeah. continue to re-gift the things that we've given each other but that you can load up all kinds of stuff on that no i appreciate and then, that it's and then you gift. won't have to waste money on getting something free. we've already printed them but <laughs> No, no, no. I'm not I talking about so that. I'm talking about, you know, if you want to, you can put, that's the wonderful thing about that. You can put whatever you want on there. And how those work is you plug it, you plug it into the wall, and then you can just load pictures digitally onto the frame. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> how do you know that? Because you have Both of your you gifts have turned into advertising. You have <laughs> You have like, are you doing and for fifty nine ninety nine, These are all Nate Land podcast sponsors. That and the Liquid IV. But we can talk more about that later. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely, man. Maybe you can put pictures of Sinbad mm -hmm. on that. <laughs> the next gift I got for Lucy. Oh, I got stand. Sorry, I got to stand up for this one. That's okay. We're reaching it's behind the, the lazy boy. This is pretty uh, ridiculous gift. Is that a cane? This is a uh, shepherd's crook. It's what they pull people off stage with in Bonneville. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best gift I've ever received. You don't know how many times we've wanted that. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get Aaron off with just this. <laughs> You're going to have to hook it on a belt loop. Yeah. I'm going to have to go fishing. Yeah. That's This is hilarious. so funny. When you first said shepherd, I thought you it was going to be some sort of like religious thing. You could, oh, you could be a shepherd. Yeah, we're <laughs> Yeah, this is what the three I magi know. used. I was like in my head. When they welcomed the birth of... of the Messiah. <laughs> so just take note of that. Oh, that's, that's amazing, so dude. We oh. will be using that at the club. I can guarantee oh, it. This is hilarious. I, as when I, I host it. shows, I've wanted to have one of those. Yeah. I've never seen one in the real world. Do you know the history behind this? What is this? I'll take these glasses off. <laughs> I, <felt> like... <laughs> I can't get serious. <laughs> Everything took on a different tone. When I was talking about that, uh, <laughs> so where You're did actually that... drinking the Yuhu, both of you? Yeah, I'm you, not went be... back, you went back to the Yuhu. I'm not gonna be rude. <laughs> I'm not oh gonna be rude. They, they brought them to me, but uh, so okay. what's the history? But do you know anything about that? In vaudeville, they used it just to pull back the curtains and stuff, oh. and then oh. at some point in time, it just turned into a bit to like yank someone off yeah. stage. If somebody's doing it. poorly, or if the bits okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any short stories you could share where you had to kick someone off or wanted to? 
have to, um i i don't want to use names but no na- this, no and names. this was a while like a long time ago like years ago but um an agent had contacted us that he had a client in town and if we could do a favor by letting that client host i want to say it was for maybe i'll use the headliner's name it was maybe for like justin willman or somebody okay who's a comedy magician, magician. anyway has a show on netflix called Magic it was he, this particular comic was what people referred to as like very alternative mm-hmm, bad <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's d- industry jargon for not d- good. not much of a club comedian mm-hmm. and they had such a hard time the first night we didn't kick them off but we rehired a different host and had them just do like a five minute guest spot because it was pretty rough yeah um but have I ever had to like pull somebody off stage? Uh, not that I can remember. You've had to aggressively light people before. Oh sure. Oh, there's been a couple people on like uh, new material. Maybe not even new material Monday. It's just yet, any showcase that'll go like eight minutes over their time, oh, and they're God, never yeah. doing good yeah. when they do yeah. that. Uh-huh. And so, but I've never had to like physically remove somebody knock on thing. wood i feel like it's about to happen uh, soon. Now you that. <laughs> i know as soon, now you got the tools to do it i know how funny would that be i mean it would if, it if would lucy just sticks her head out, out of the green room <laughs> and has a legit shepherd's hook <laughs> <laughs> and yanks somebody off stage i can't wait that is what's gonna happen is i'm gonna put hand. it in the green room and then the comics are going to mess with each other with it more than anything. Oh, that's a, I've never seen one of those in the real world. I'm going to have a lot of fun with yeah. that. So thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. We'll get some real no good problem. use out of All this. All right, I got, I got another one for you. <laughs> I like this. So if this is – there's one thing I know about you, dude. It's uh, – <laughs> <it's, laughs> Well, it's two things you know yeah, about yeah, me yeah. <laughs> What would you say your favorite Russell Crowe movie is? Uh, gladiator. Uh, well, well, let me re- <laughs> let me let me rephrase the question. What I meant to say was your favorite Russell Crowe movie directed by Ron Howard. I don't know what is this co-starring Jennifer Connelly. I have no idea. What and I'm about doing. a mathematician. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a beautiful mind. Yeah. Oh, well, really? Oh, that's crazy. So what I have now, this is very it's hands down. That's your favorite movie oh, that fits dude, that description. I've never... Look at this, dude. This is the uh, this is the screenplay for A Beautiful Mind. That's the shooting script, <laughs> complete with uh, several Aaron Weber annotations throughout. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, I don't think so, actually. But uh, <laughs> but you, but uh, as you read through you it, you'll your just favorite parts. Yeah. Oh, I see. Aaron, you circled this right here. Yep. Yeah. But just as you read through it, you'll just know that I also read through it, and that's meaningful. That is. And that's a really good movie, dude. And it's that a, script it's won, my favorite. It won. <laughs> that script, you can laugh all you want. That script won an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Of course. I mean, I already knew that. Oh, okay. Can you yeah. tell us the well, year? I, no, no, I know everything about this movie. <laughs> okay, well, you didn't act like you knew anything about it. You acted <laughs> like you... I'm used to giving gifts. <laughs> I'm not great at receiving. <laughs> you acted like you'd never heard of this movie before. It was actually a blockbuster film that made hundreds of millions of dollars, but... I think I even said It's a Beautiful <laughs> Yeah, you did. did. You did. <laughs> you thought it's the sequel to It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> it's a Beautiful Mind sounds know, like a musical. It does. Do you yeah. even know who Ron Howard is? Let's back up a bit. <laughs> no. I, who's From Andy Griffith. He didn't. You remember when you last at our podcast, I got you a uh, Notre Dame yarmulke? 100%. <laughs> it's I in my office. Yeah, I showed it to Lucy That's immediately. A cool Girl. gift. I got you that because something uh, I had got you didn't come in, and it finally did. <laughs> the Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it on with the sunglasses. I, tell you what, I don't know y'all are thinking. I'm thinking Arby's. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude. I look like a... Fat white Pharrell. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. It's such a Pharrell. Wait, you have to have the cane with it. I feel like. <laughs> 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 you, you look like if Gandalf wanted to know where the meats were. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Y'all know something funny? I had Arby's probably three hours ago. <laughs> Dang. You shall not pass Did by you really? an Arby's. I had it for lunch. What'd you get? <laughs> I had a, a roast, roast beef and cheddar Good and a uh, and a chicken wrap. Diet Coke? No Diet Coke. Oh. I'm trying to cut back. I'm only drinking <laughs> you these days. 
This is amazing, dude. I will never take these off. Never take this hat off. Amazing, dude. I thought, how could you top the Notre Dame yarmulke? I thought you were about to hand me a Jewish crucifix, but you top that. Oh, so yeah, you look like a rad pilgrim. Let's get, <laughs> let's get into it. Yeah. Well, the last thing I got you, Aaron. Okay. This is just a small one. What is this? This is a poker chip, a Mad Men poker chip with John Hamm, the star of Bridesmaids. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> he steals the movie, doesn't he? Oh, my god! This is... That's Aaron's favorite thing to do. <laughs> That's the description. of the, I'd say this is the John Hamm vehicle. What did you do? What movie did I show you? You did it with Tom Hanks. Uh, oh, League, League of, of Their, Their Own. Own. <laughs> I was like, He's Man. like, this is Tom Hanks' best film. <laughs> this, is, this movie's just launching Tom Hanks into the zeitgeist. Uh, That's hilarious. Oh, this is the best dude. part of the movie. The speech. This is the dueling uh, yeah. toast scene between Ugh. Kristen Wiig and Rose Byrne. Me and my friends, used, we we um, like memorized the whole Spanish part, which she's like, "Gracias para vivir yeah, in yeah. me casa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in las azul." <laughs> she just stops. Oh, you do doesn't... know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quote that constantly. Lillian and I took Spanish together in school, and so I would just like to say to you and to everyone here, "Gracias para vivir en la casa." In las escuelas, and el azul marcada. Tienes con vivir en las fortuitas. And gracias. Thank you. Oh. Was this an important movie for you? When did this come out? I think they're supposed to be asking no, questions. No, you don't. Know, <laughs> I have to know. Dude, this is, honestly, because I'm I think, I'm just going to read my Sinbad over here. <laughs> Dude, life um, is so it, good. So wait, sorry, repeat the question. But then. Lucy, I know you you were a big fan of SNL. Yeah. In a certain time of your life. Sure. When Kristen Wiig, kind of Maya are. Rudolph, when they yeah. were kind of the stars of Saturday Night Live. Yes. So when this movie came out, that was probably big for you as a comedy fan. Yeah, right? it was big. And I've always been such a fan. I don't want to say of, I don't want to like make it about gender, but like I do love like a female driven comedy and like um, Mean Girls, obviously, Heather's, um, Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. Oh. All mm -hmm. those movies are like movies I grew up loving so this was kind of like in the same vein but i think this movie does a good job of being both funny and like also heartfelt right and shows like real that's apatow. relationships that's, that's what i think of with apatow movies yeah are like that yeah and totally. this is his highest grossing film do y'all know that i didn't know, I didn't know that. that this is the most money wow. apatow's made on a movie i don't know if it's that's true apatow and <laughs> but, uh, but, but i think it is but Kristen wig and um oh gosh I can't remember the, her writing partner's name. Annie Mum Mumolo, I think that's okay. how you say it. Yeah. They wrote the movie. Oh, okay. Apatow directed it? I think he might have just produced it. Executive I believe producer. Paul Feig, Feig? Paul Feig. Directed it. Sure, from Heavyweights. Great movie, too. Oh, mm -hmm. man. I only know people from small roles on other, <laughs> of other movies. <laughs> like Talking about Paul Feig, who directed episode three of Freaks and Geeks? Exactly. <laughs> um, I didn't know it was his highest grossing movie. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, uh, we got, uh, what's his face, from The Office? David Wallace from The Office? Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, the Tim and Eric guy. Yeah. Also, uh, Two people Charlie in the Day's movie. mom from Always Sunny. Yeah. Making an appearance. Whoa. I didn't know that. Yeah. The, uh, I'm John Hamm kind of just takes over every scene. So I don't really them. see everybody else in it. I so get it. So interesting. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy, what, what's the guy's name? The nice guy. That I can't remember that actor. The name. Irish guy. Yeah. I don't know that guy's name. Because his role is so pointless. I hate him in this movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't like that story, that storyline or that particular story character? Line. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. It, like, they have you don't like scene. foreigners, right? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you were American, you'd Talk normal, normal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when, when they like, and it's funny when they're trying to get his attention and they're driving back and forth. Yeah. Like, oh, that's funny. But also they're like, there's no point of that. Like, our friend's missing. And then she's at her house. And they're yeah. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. And she's like. She also had, like doesn't seem this? to be interested in him at all at yeah. the beginning. And so felt a little forced. 
How long do you give that relationship after the movie? I don't. Ends? I don't give it long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. She's there. going back She's to going him. Back. She's going oh, back to him. How do you turn away John? Hamm? <laughs> You're no longer She's my number back. three. Oh, that is such a good line. <laughs> You know, if you're trying to turn me on, it's working. You used me. No big deal. You are no longer my number three. He's great. He's great in everything. Really. He's undeniably good. I don't want to make this about John Hamm, but <laughs> well, even even on this is going to be embarrassing. But even on Watch What Happens Live, when he did his impression of the guy on Vanderpump Rules, you guys been watching Vanderpump Rules? <laughs> Sorry to not. out you, Aaron. Up in that mess, I haven't. I saw that you were like you posted something. You're like top ten like best oh, things of my life. I mean, it took over everything for me. I yeah. watched. I've watched eight seasons in like two months. <laughs> oh my god, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's I've, a lot. I've, I've watched a lot of going it too. on for that long. It's been on for 11 years. <laughs> See, I had never heard of the I've show either. until there was a big public scandal right. involving two of the main Well, I've o- obviously in it. heard of it. But you had never watched it. This is what no. got you to watch. So it came You're out right. that two... I'll just, <laughs> let's get into it. It came out, and this is what, 10 seasons in? 11. Or oh, sorry, yes, 10. 11 10 seasons in. Season. I know the facts. <laughs> the, two of the main people who had relationships with two of the other people were secretly hooking up for a while. Like seven months. And it came out on the show. Yeah. And it was so wild. That, a wild ride. That became, that kind of transcended the show and it launched Vanderpump Rules into the public consciousness. It's always been in the public consciousness. But it didn't reach people like me. It straight, didn't show up on my men, TikTok correct. feed yeah. until this happened, until yeah. Pablo Sandoval. Tom. Yeah. Tom Sandoval. Pablo Sandoval is a <laughs> baseball player. Sorry about that. Speaking of baseball players, I got a gift for you, dude. How so, many gifts did you bring? I just filled my back. How many sponsors do we have on this episode? <laughs> this is not this is not a sponsor, but this is a really good gift. You're gonna like it. Who's who would you say? I've always known this about you. Who's your favorite uh, Red Sox pitcher from the '80s? Oh God, uh, there's so, so many <laughs> going through my mind. <laughs> I can't even narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is Lucy and I love funny names. Oh. It's one of our main I thought you were going to say, I love this baseball player. And I was like, I don't love any baseball player. <laughs> Lucy and player. we talk about him all the time, Lucy okay. and I. But he has probably the best name in the history of sports. This is, this is a signed oil can Boyd baseball card. Oil, Red Sox oil pitcher can. in the 80s. You've all seen the Bill Buckner clip where or the – the play where he loses the ground ball between his legs and the Red Sox oh, yeah. lose. That's the pitcher on the Red Sox from that year. Also famously, huge crack addict. He used to oh. smoke crack in the dugout. That's I love this card cool. so much. There's actually a little crack Did in people, here. Was that legal at the time? It was not legal, but it was very common for players. Really? He would just show up, smoke crack in the dugout. That's an oil can Boyd autograph car. He's Who since amongst recovered. us hasn't mm. smoked crack He's only, in the dugout? He only played for four or five years? Or yeah. That's what crack will do. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he played longer, but that's, okay, that's typically how out. baseball cards work is <laughs> they don't put the stats from While the future. Done, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just going to be – that's just going <laughs> to – You got me. <laughs> it's not one of those <laughs> – yeah, it's not one of those changeable picture Can I frames. Do that, Adam? Yeah, absolutely. That's only that's only gonna have stuff from the past on there. That reminded me last time I saw y'all outside of Zanies, we got a new podcast. I walked up and you said, Hey, nice shirt, man. I didn't know what shirt I was wearing. I looked down and I was like, Oh, it's the movie. I said, Oh, it's a podcast merch. And he goes, I know. I, I was on the podcast. <laughs> I, well, I was, that's part that part was supposed to be in my head. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, dude. Well, that's a nice card, man. No, thank you. I yeah. love it. I yeah, love the story. Like, I love the story behind it. <laughs> Do you like the vibe? Uh, no, not actually. <laughs> actually, not at all. Yeah, Bo Peep. Yeah, yeah, that's what you look like. Little the thing Bo from Peep. Toy Story. Yeah, I think it exists outside of that. But, but that's what I know. <laughs> yeah. That's what I know it from. Well, since you brought up baseball cards, I also whoa Yogi Bear Yuhu card dog. <laughs> also didn't know you who made baseball cards. That's <laughs> they wild. Do. do they not do anything great? Did you Google like you who baseball card and you were like, oh my God, it exists. I was like, I saw the you candle before. and I was like, well, you Yogi Bear yeah. right next to the candle. That's, that's two can't miss. Did this come with the you who? No, but I was just, we're I doing a rip right I've here. Never. 
Yogi Bear, Joe Morgan, Duke Snyder, Steve Garvey, Jim Rice, Bob Feller, Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose, not in the <laughs> Hall of Fame. You know why, Lucy? I don't. He bet Steroids? on sports. He bet no. on sports. Gambled. Who cares? He gambled. Exactly. I, Doesn't everybody I, do that now? You're not allowed to gamble while you're playing. I bet they still do. And uh, I'm sure it does happen to some extent, but he uh, he gambled. He had a bit of a gambling problem. But he would bet on his team to win. He bet on himself to win. And he's like, I know we're going to win. Oh, okay. Which is still should not be Look, illegal. There's, there's, I think it's awesome. She's meeting him here. She's meeting the Irish no, guy. No, no connection, I feel like. You feel like there's no on-screen chemistry? I, didn't, I don't Their think so. Their biggest commonality is that her brake lights are out, <laughs> yeah. and it drives him crazy. Yeah. Now we're coming up on, uh, I'd say, one of the stars of this movie is the, the host from Great British Bake Off <laughs> who lives with her. Oh, um, oh yeah. That bald dude. Yes. The who bald, with Jonathan weird on British Tinder guy. Ones. And him and Rebel Wilson are her roommates. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. I only know that guy's the Great British Bake Off. You get, you've been getting He's into a that? comedian. I've, you ever get into Great British Bake Off? I have not, but I've watched. Do you ever I, watch I stuff watch for stuff. fun, or do you just like watch movies <laughs> academically? It's honestly, it's such a chore. I consider it work. <laughs> I'm like off the clock when I'm out. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I watched uh, Is It Cake? I kind of got into that for like three episodes. It was Man, like... you've got to get watching. You watch something better <laughs> I know, than I Is mean, It like Cake? Said, three episodes. All right, Lego Masters was <laughs> rad. Okay, I don't okay. Know I got into Lego Masters. I'll defend you on is it cake you do you sit there you're like no way that's cake. yeah yeah you do ask yourself is that cake is a cake this is, is fun. a great scene there it's a f wonderful Fiona Apple song mm -hmm. I don't feel like anybody here probably listens to any Fiona Apple but so wait, wait, describe what's like, like, isn't that the naked on the floor isn't that that song? no that's um Natalie and Bruglia <laughs> wildly different that's Nelly Furtado actually so describe what's happening that was my first concert sorry what's happening in this scene She's making a cupcake. How good does that? Because she misses it secretly. So but what her is shop the cupcake? Is what is that cupcake a metaphor for? What is what does that represent in her life? Well, it kind represents of the that, that she's, she's yeah abandoned. she should yeah she shouldn't have given up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a, a very movie. sad scene. It is a sad, but it goes into a very funny scene of them playing tennis. Oh, okay. So now we're at a tennis facility. <laughs> With or, yeah, country club, maybe. This is like some kind of public course, probably in Birmingham. That's yeah. what it looks like. This looks like it's. No, they're in Milwaukee. Yeah, they're in Milwaukee. This takes place in Milwaukee. Oh, I know. I was just trying to. I don't think you. Did I was just know trying that. to trash Birmingham a little bit. I. Do you thought I? This is way nicer than Birmingham. You, you think I thought this movie took place in Birmingham? No, but Alabama? I don't think you knew it took place in Milwaukee. I did not know that. Which they talk about often. I, okay. Had y'all seen a lot of Rose Byrne like previous to this? Um. I know I have. I'm just blanking on Neighbors where. is where I first saw her. She was in Insidious. Was she in Insidious? She mm -hmm. was in like a scary movie. Could be. God, if Jonathan ever listens to this, he'll mock me for not remembering what Rose Byrne is in. My best friend is like a movie nut. Um, yeah, she's been in a ton of stuff. This is a difficult part for her to play, I think. I don't know who, who else could have played this role where you're kind of unlikable, but also beneath that kind of likable because there is redemption at the end right they do kind yeah. of become friends with each other mm -hmm. and she kind of breaks down this wall that she has up with Kristen Wiig like who else has those layers see I thought she killed it I thought she's amazing I feel like yeah. it, like Nicole Kidman could have been great in something like this she was good in uh just go with it as the kind yeah. of snotty bitchy friend mm-hmm Speaking of random cameos, that's Steve Carell's wife playing tennis with him right now. Wait, really? is it really? Yep, they're about to show her again. That's <laughs> Kristen Wiig. But there's another woman about Is Steve Carell's wife an actress? That's she in is. She's stuff? an actress and I think has a history in improv. She plays Carol, the real estate agent in yeah. the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Steve. That's wait, that's not her. On the other side. On the other they side of the. Shown. Okay. Oh, Rose, Rose Burns Burn. partner. Yep. Man, not, not getting a lot of FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, She's no Steve. Oh, uh, yeah. They might have just forgotten about her, but she is there. The kids are so She's funny. So I wish there. those kids had more lines. I've seen better tennis playing in a tampon commercial. What's that movie, Waiting uh, for the Universe to Explode or something? Like the cover? It's not. 
Waiting for the end of the universe. It's like Steve Carell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking the about. The end of the, yeah. I forget what it is. There's like a. The end of the world. I don't know. It's something I like, like it, that, though. <laughs> but it literally starts with don't. them two in the car together and they announce the apocalypse and she just like gets out of the car and starts running away from yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's not yeah. that one you saw by yourself, is it? <laughs> God, that'd be sad to watch the, by yourself. No. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. No, oh. no, no. The Mer, Mer, Welcome, to, Welcome I, to Merwin or something. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Merwin. Yeah, you went and saw that. I saw it Christmas Eve by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about in an empty theater, dude. Yeah, of for course. For not that good of a movie. Walter Mitty was okay. It. Okay, Walter Mitty is the one with Ben Stiller. No, uh, Yeah, and Adam Scott. I'm talking about the one with uh, Steve Carell. Steve Carell, yeah. where he like plays with miniature dolls. <laughs> And cross dresses and gets beat up. <laughs> I hadn't even heard of that one. You haven't heard of that? I, no, it came I out remember a couple years he's like a ago. Fighter pilot in the commercial or something. It's, it's really. Like, it looked so. He was weird. wearing like one of those like white scarves, like the, the old timey pilots wore, or something leather I jacket. Think so maybe. maybe he's imagining that he because he plays pretend with these miniatures. Yeah, I mean, he, I did that when I was like six. <laughs> yeah, well, he's he's a. Uh, He's Doesn't disabled. he have, like, yeah. It oh. sounded really sad. <laughs> I'm picturing Steve Carell. Yeah. yeah. I was just picturing 40-year-old version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, essentially. Maybe that's who it is. Now, I am making your silver pants blue. We're about to do that movie with Zach and Josh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Welcome that... to Merwin. <laughs> we should, I'll come back and do a... Uh... Well, you should know a lot more about the movie if you're about to do a podcast on it. You doing it today? Yeah. Oh, nice, man. Nice. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's going to be I bet they don't bring you anything. No, I definitely not. <laughs> definitely No, this is the first. Thank you. Not. Yeah, like this last is the move. first. Good deal, man. Am I the first repeat guest? No. No, we had uh, Chance and uh, Connor. Oh, yeah. Connor oh, on. And, and also Brent Reed a few times. Oh, yeah. We had oh, that Brent's lot. funny. He moved out to Austin. Yeah. 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 That was really lame. It was. What movie did Zach? It was hard, so it was hard for me. He was tired of us asking to be on the podcast. Oh, really? That's like, why I'm moving. He's like, I'm dipping out, there. You're not going to be able to find me. I love that y'all don't do this over Zoom. Have you ever tried it? Did you ever do this no. over Zoom? So you can't, I asked no Sean way. Patton to do it, mm -hmm. and I was like, I guess we could send him the stuff, and he could open it, but it was like, that just feels... I was like, man, we'll just catch you next time you're in the cell. Yeah, that's like, the way to do it, man. It just feels like it's a personal thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can tell, like, I don't know, people cut each other other off even more over zoom and just like you kind of have to wait there's a lot more awkward pauses yeah. and stuff it's unlistenable i think when something's over zoom yeah i hate it did you ever do any stand-up over zoom during covid i did dude i did yeah did y'all i did yeah it was awful what, what what kind of show was it it was a, there was one show we went to it was in tuscaloosa and it was broadcast from this bar and so we did it live which was nice but it was like so that was probably the best one <clears throat> But we did one literally in the height of COVID where everyone was just on their laptop. And it would like <laughs> it was like a chat room and like people uh -huh. had access to it and you would go like one by one. How many people were there? I, were watching. They, there was probably twelve comics on it and there was probably fifteen <laughs> people in the room. Hey dude, that's not bad, man. That's like an open mic. Yeah, it was yeah. a dingy open mic online. I, I hated it because I'd be sitting upstairs and I'd hear you from your office just loudly say, "Hey, everybody, what's uh, going on?" I was like, "I have to get out of here." Unmute, you gotta unmute. Your, you gotta mute yourself. You just like try. Yes. To, I did some for like old people, and it was like half of it was like just teaching them how to use Zoom. That was early on. I did one corporate for. Um, Didn't you do Taco Bell? I did Taco Bell with Nate, which was great over Zoom. But the stuff I was getting for myself was not not quite that good. So I got an email saying, um, I would love for you to come crash our company cocktail hour over Zoom. And I was like, yeah, great. What's your company? She's like, you ever heard of Logan's Roadhouse? And I was like, or Texas Roadhouse. Texas, you thought it, yeah. Yeah, you ever heard of Texas Roadhouse? And I was like, yeah. I was like, have you ever heard of me? That's what I felt, I felt like. Uh, yeah, I just sent back a picture of myself. I was like, you tell me if I've heard of Texas Road. <laughs> so I'm crashing this company cocktail hour, which is in order to crash something, people have to know who you are. Do you know what I mean? You can't yeah. just like, who's this random guy? So they bring me on. And she's like, when I bring you, when I add you in to the party, just start. Because I'm going to introduce you and then add you in. So I don't know what she says. I don't know how I'm introduced. I don't know if these people know I'm supposed to do comedy. 
So I'm in like the waiting room and I'm thinking, how do I ingratiate myself to Texas Roadhouse, right? So I was like, oh yeah, they put peanuts. There's peanuts everywhere, you know? So I make my background on Zoom. <laughs> I had a green screen at the time. I made it just a bunch of peanuts. <laughs> and I thought this will be a little bit of an icebreaker, right? <laughs> this, they're thinking, at the very least, this guy's kooky, dude. So I join and... <laughs> Nobody says anything about the peanuts, <laughs> and I'm just talking. And I was, and I was like, "Y'all like these peanuts?" And they're like, "What?" And then I'm thinking, I was like, "Oh, that's Logan's Roadhouse that does the peanuts." <laughs> so they're like, "What?" Are you? I was like, "Oh yeah, I just I'm just me. I'm nuts, dude. That's all I'm trying. To say. I'm just I'm crazy." <laughs> It had nothing to do with How it. funny would it be if they were like, they just thought like somebody had hacked. <laughs> that, that's probably what it looked like. <laughs> I mean, like, and you're just looking around and you yeah. just see like people, <laughs> you can see people be like, oh, yeah. And a lot of people like turn their camera off. And you're like, oh, they're gone. No, you know, yeah. so I just did stand up for, I, mean, I don't even know, 10 minutes. For, I had a few gigs like that that were just, they regretted it immediately. I didn't have oh, fun. I'm yeah. so glad that's over. Oh, it was the worst. Mm-hmm. This scene's incredible. Yeah. Is this the most iconic scene of this movie? I think it's the most recognizable, yeah. There, I mean, to me, it's not nearly the funniest, but it's definitely it, iconic, so, meaning like people know it and mm-hmm. love it, yeah. So describe what's happening right now, Lucy. They had, um, uh, what do you call it, like... Not street meat. They went to like one of those places. <laughs> Honestly, it looked like a Brazilian steakhouse, like steak but like house, right. they make it out like it's this like kind of foreign place. It's like and a they cheap all... hole in the wall yeah. type place because Kristen Wiig is broke. Correct. Yeah. And she's the one that got to, that was the part she got to set up. And um, now they're going to try on dresses and they all are starting to feel not so great. As you can see, the sweat's the coming. Sweat's coming in. Yeah, <laughs> she, she's it's great. So Melissa great. McCarthy is this her first kind of big role? I think it was before Mike and Molly, right? Was it? This felt like what I remember from this movie is people walking away going, "Golly, that woman is funny." It's yeah. definitely she's when so like good. everybody got to know her because obviously Mike and Molly is an older demographic, and yeah, this movie right. appealed to a younger demographic. So if you had to break it down between this scene, yeah, the dueling toast scene, mm-hmm. and then the kicking off the airplane scene, oh, that's how would so... you rank those? So I, this to me is the lead. I'm not like bathroom stuff. I'm yeah. it's like not my favorite. Um, probably the airplane scene when there's a colonial woman on the wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's it's something there. There's something they're not telling us. Like that truly makes me laugh another like special shout out to the i like when melissa mccarthy uh takes all the dogs yeah oh, yeah. and then she's like eight's too many it's too many <laughs> six would have been good yeah, i could have yeah, worked yeah. with six um that's a great scene too i don't there's so many good ones this one really doesn't rank that high for me i almost think the scene's funnier when maya rudolph is like post the scene she's just sitting yeah. in the car sweating still and yes she's like, I shit myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I shit in the street. Yeah, like that is. It's the happening. It's happening. Oh, lot. it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> also, the dresses that they pick are just the ugliest dresses ever. You think all of them are ugly? Even the eight hundred dollar one that yeah. Rose Burns wearing? Yes. You think and the wedding dress? Especially that ugly wedding too? dress is awful. Now, do wedding dresses, do bridal dresses, do they age poorly the way that a lot of fashion does? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure mine will, too. Okay. But, like, my mom's is, like, awful. I'll show you a picture (laughs) if I can find it. Well, these dresses, I can't tell if a dress looks bad or good, I guess. They look fine to me. (laughs) That didn't look good. That always, that part always just hurts me. And now Melissa McCarthy comes in and starts to take a dump in the sink. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering how eloquently you were Yeah, I always am curious how you're going to make it. <laughs> Look away. Look away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good stuff, Lucy. It is. <laughs> you know, this uh, bathroom humor is timeless. <laughs> Had you seen this movie before we started dating? Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw this movie when it came out. I, I wasn't sure. Can you imagine sure. if John Hamm had gotten food poisoning? Off of oh, dude, how he would have pulled that off? <laughs> you would have felt like you were there. 
<laughs> but this is, if you go back, I mean, Shakespeare had fart jokes and poop jokes. Did he really? Yeah, this is like, it's like. Are you like, a big Shakespeare guy? Like, <laughs> to fart or not to fart? That is the question. <laughs> but I'm saying this is what's timeless. Nice. This has been funny to people for as long as long as we've been able to communicate with each other. So there's something kind of beautiful about that. I'm ready for Kristen Wiig to do another. Well, you did, did you guys see Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar? I have not. It kind of quietly came out during the pandemic, but it was the same writers as this movie. And my Rudolph was in it, right? Yeah. See, I and love my Rudolph. Kristen Wiig. Yeah, I think yeah. they were both in it. So you know the first thing I ever saw her on mm -hmm. was Joe Millionaire? Really? No way. She was on that. She I remember Joe, Joe Millionaire. Millionaire. Yeah. I remember reading was this she a and being blown away. I remember, she, but no, I don't remember was, her on so it. So Joe Millionaire is kind of like, have y'all seen Jury Duty? Yeah, it's the same concept. It's like okay, yeah. one guy doesn't know. It's a reality show and he does he has no idea. So she's like an actress oh, on Have it. you not seen Jury Duty, Aaron? I have seen he Jury has. Duty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, man, James yeah. Marston just I've killed. seen. So funny. <laughs> you watched all of it. I think I fell asleep at some point. So the best episode is the last one where yeah. they walk yeah. through how well, they did everything. don't spoil anything. Well, <laughs> the whole point is that you, it's already been spoiled that's for you. True, that's true. <laughs> you know it's called you are, Movie Ruiner. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah that's right. true. It is the Movie Ruiner right. podcast. <laughs> if you had to remake this movie with men, who, who would you put in? Uh, John Hamm for awful, sure. Awful <laughs> let's cast. Let, yeah, let's, there he is. There's your boy. I mean, you better give him some respect him for a being second. the asshole is yeah, he's so very good. funny. He's such a good like, heel, man. I've mm -hmm. heard he's not. The nicest person. Oh, really? Oh, really? I have a, a friend in L.A. I can tell the story, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, like, walked up to him, and he just looked at her and said, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's that rules. very funny. <laughs> I like him more now. Yeah. <laughs> That's me when that I stinks. approach a lot of people to do our podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is such, this is a good scene. Where he's like trying to make it out like he's. I don't want to sound like a dick, yeah. but I'm trying to ask you. How can I ask you to leave? <laughs> I don't want you to leave. <laughs> wow, this is so awkward. I really want you to leave, but I don't know how to say it without sounding like a dick. Oh. So bad. I asked my mom if she'd see this movie, and she was just like, oh, John Hamm is just awful. The things he says. And it's just, I was like, oh, yeah, he is pretty awful. Yeah, <laughs> he's a bad dude in this movie. He's not a nice He's just guy. so entertaining. He's not Irish. He's not a cop. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He's not, you know, what is, what is John Hamm, what is he a metaphor for in, in her life, do you think? What does he represent? I think he's just an asshole. Kind of her lying to herself about what she wants out of life. <laughs> I guess. You know? and I'm not always looking for the metaphor. <laughs> That's all I'm looking for. Him asking her to take a nap while. <laughs> I think it's it shows oh, that yeah. she's not happy with herself because she's like, Tolerating being treated poorly. There you go. That's you on, go. that's perfect. Right. That's a cool. perfect answer. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, don't overthink it. She's not <laughs> being treated poorly. That's a solid <laughs> boob rotation right there. I just watched the blooper reel from this scene earlier today. It's <laughs> yeah. so funny, dude. Yeah. He just can they cannot keep a straight face. I mean it's ridiculous what they're doing. Oh. He's going boop 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 <laughs> boop boop bong bong boop. <laughs> they just can't handle it. Boom. See this I this is weird too. She just happens to run into this guy at the gas station you think the cop was probably stalking <laughs> i mean it's very a huge coincidence you're saying it is it is odd that of all the gas stations yeah. in milwaukee yes <laughs> she happens yeah. to stumble upon yeah so he just finds her and what is she buying some kind of weird and she had just left the other guy's house I, that sounded judgmental the way i said that i didn't like that <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I don't like Kristen that. Kristen Wiig gallivanting around <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> no, you're you were talking about just plot wise. I will say, like, 
is I think he's about to like take her around, right? This mm-hmm. that's the scene we're at where like they get to do the speed thing. Yeah. Oh, First yeah. of all, hi, it, it's got to be highly illegal to just bring yeah, her in. Yeah, right? <laughs> but it does. I would like uh, to do like spend a day doing that. I bet I do it, a ride along. Yeah, it does. It looks like a fun date with yeah. a likable guy, right? I do a ride along. I think maybe it is illegal, but I I think the other cops are going to be like, yeah, dude, I, I see what you're doing. Is he a real cop? Trying to get a lap nap. State patrol. Is that, what's okay. the difference between state patrol well, they and even a cop? He's a state it Where they're like, you can't be a cop if you're a foreign, right? And he was just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how they get around yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. like, all right. You're just like, all right, I guess. I, and who knows if that's true, but. How you became this Do you think great. people would be upset if this movie came out now? Because there's kind of like a. People don't like to romanticize cops or something, or it would just be normal. I think some stuff in movies does. Not to get super serious. No, no, it's an interesting thing. Do you think if they made this movie in if they made this movie in twenty twenty, yeah. there's no way this character is a police? John officer. Hamm's probably the cop. Hundred <laughs> percent. They just turn that guy into a police yeah. officer. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, now yeah, probably the most unlikable yeah. person ever. Well, he's a state patrol. He's a he's a statey, so he's not a metro police officer. Yeah, he's just a guy that pulls over people on the interstate for speeding. Oh, the worst. Womp. That's lame. Yeah. So I think exactly. I never I put told two you and two together. Sucks. But there's an interesting one. discussion about like the movie Superbad. Right. It's kind of the only thing that's aged weirdly about it is those characters. They like they're beat, like they the f- beat the high school kid at the end, but they're the like cop. fun, yeah. cool, funny police officers mm-hmm. that like shoot the gun illegally and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know if they would. Maybe they would. I don't know. Are y'all watching yeah. Platonic right now with Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne? No, I've never no, heard of it. Know, it's on Apple TV, and they're like Seth Rogen gets divorced, and they like Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen had been best friends, but. She hated the wife, hated Rose Byrne. So, like, while they were married, they weren't friends. And now that he's single again, they're like late in life, like reconnecting and being friends oh, again. Oh, that's cool. And it's uh, it's hilarious. It's like, good. Right off the bat, they go out and they accidentally do ketamine. <laughs> so yeah. Rose Byrne's like, I can't do ketamine. I weigh like so much less than a horse. Yeah. <laughs> do you think there are fewer and fewer comedies like this? Because a lot of like the, you're talking about Seth Rogen's doing TV shows now. Mm-hmm. Nobody. These guys are electing comedies anymore they're just yeah. they'd rather do a show where i can do whatever i want yeah i think so i mean i guess that movie that i think looks terrible no hard feelings oh, that's yeah. like the most recent like comedy that's come out in a while like it a raunch com yeah. Yeah, yeah did y'all see that i haven't seen it yet. did y'all it's see getting the... really good reviews jessica lawrence the uh jennifer lawrence, jennifer lawrence. Like, sorry lawrence. <laughs> yeah it's her sister dude <laughs> Uh, did you see the machine? Burt Kreischer. I, saw, I knew that it just came out. I saw that you could like buy it for twenty five bucks on your Amazon. I was like, I might wait. Both of those movies, uh, I think people are were excited about them because they felt more like yeah these movies that used to get made all the time. And I, and maybe I just have a blind spot, but I don't see movies like this. I think comedy shifted to TV a lot. Yeah, yeah that's and now kind it's of the like... medium for it. If you look at the award shows, all the like movies nominated for comedy are like that was a com like that everyone everywhere else whatever it was everything called, everywhere all which at we love it was in the comedy category for the, for Golden, the Golden Globes, Globes. Yeah. and I was like this was not a comedy at all The Martian <laughs> yeah. won best comedy for the Golden Globes yeah it's crazy which I mean yeah there were a couple hoots a couple hollers in there <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't bridesmaids you know? right John Hamm wasn't in it. So it <laughs> <laughs> now who's this woman? From she's, she's Reno hilarious. 911. Uh, Reno 911. Uh, you ever watch the Gold- Goldbergs? Goldbergs. Yeah, yeah, she's great in this. Uh, I I can't remember her name, but she's very yeah. funny. Her interaction with Ellie Kemper, yes, is perfect. Oh, when they're on they the play plane, off of each other very well. They make out on the plane. Yeah, yeah. that's the interaction. That interaction about. was great. Uh, <laughs> when they interfaced with each other, it was really quite something. And Ellie Kemper, we haven't talked about her yet, but she is she's great, very funny in this. Yeah, she's always been funny. I mean, The Office, Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah, I remember even before that, she would this the sketch comedy on YouTube. Yeah. I knew her from that before mm-hmm. the office. Oh, I'd yeah. seen her. I've seen her do improv a couple. Of th- I used to go to improv shows in New York. What all the group time. was she with? I can't remember. But you saw her live do she, do yeah, improv. Yeah, I saw everybody though. I mean, I saw all of those. There's people. a picture of you and Amy Poehler. Yeah, they Amy bring you Poehler. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Um, wow. Who else did I? Zach Woods from The Office. Oh, oh yeah. dude, that guy's so good. Thomas cool. Middleditch. Oh. All of those guys oh, nice. back when they were like before they were big. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And now like the all those people on like the other two, which is like our one of my favorite shows right yeah, now. It's a good show. Um, They all, I used to see them do improv all the time. That's about the, the siblings? Day. Yeah, that show is great. I haven't seen it yet. It's so, so, so funny. And it's like very industry insider jokes sometimes yeah there's a lot a lot of inside baseball yeah. stuff that's fun okay yeah, yeah, yeah now that's melissa mccarthy's husband i don't know if you guys oh, knew that I, yeah. mm -hmm. I thought this plot line between them was hilarious yeah. the air yeah. marshal that's her husband in real life <laughs> just her outfit in general too <laughs> yeah she, <laughs> the hat right? like, is insane. it's like half golf or half bowler it's like an inch with a pearl necklace hey, on she's got the wrist guard too. she's a great the wrist actress guard is a crazy is, is she's such a done nice some touch. serious parts too where she's really good what that, has she been movie? serious in? the little mermaid she, she did a movie where she played like an author and it was really good i feel like we watched it together i'll have well, to look it up she well what was she in the, was she like the villain she was the little yeah, mermaid? Ursula, ursula yeah, yeah. Oh, i hadn't seen no. it <laughs> and that so that is annie mumolo that they wrote the movie together oh, oh okay i didn't know that it's the woman having a breakdown on the flight. yeah so they wrote Bridesmaids, and then they wrote Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. You get sucked That's into awesome. the toilet. Then. Yeah. yeah every, I feel like every person in the background of this movie is somebody. Yeah. Except, Except these two guys back <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, they, they look like. White guy number three and white guy number four. <laughs> now, you know who is really great in this movie? It's the flight attendant. Oh, the flight attendant. I See, the, there's the so many yeah. small parts in this movie that are so funny i do have to say i think this is probably the number one most iconic scene this whole sequence is hilarious yeah she keeps coming back in the first class yeah and then she calls she's like what's your name stove <laughs> she's like my <laughs> name's steve, steve. He goes, what are you an appliance yeah <laughs> it's like so good. no i'm not i'm a person my name is steve <laughs> So good. I wonder if that guy has an improv background, too. Probably. I would like to know how if any of this movie was improvised. I feel like oh, yeah. it yeah. was. You know what? This is one of those movies that it's going to be worth it, and I'm going to go back and watch it with like the director's commentary. Oh, yeah, you yeah. should, for yeah. sure. But isn't Apatow kind of famous for that? It's like he just kind of lets them. Just lets him go. The but roll. he just was a producer. He his hands are all over. He made this movie. <laughs> him and John Hamm <laughs> carried it. <laughs> Apatow made this movie. What it Apatow is. Ham Productions. <laughs> I didn't watch this movie till a few years ago. A girl's dating made me watch it, and we yeah. watched like the uh, the director's cut. Yeah. And I don't know if that's the way to go for some comedies because, yeah. like you're saying, yeah. you see all the improv stuff. It's like yeah. every scene, it would be funny, but then it should be like, how's this scene still going yeah. on? Yeah. Well, that's Apatow movies are also long to begin with right mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is 40 years this is yeah. 40 minutes too long yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and then so the director's cut is probably six hours or something <laughs> crazy yeah well like anchorman they made a whole nother movie of like ron burgundy yeah it seemed like they had reshoots you can just tell that or something. her husband melissa they cut to a different scene but her husband is trying so hard not to laugh. He's like putting his like hand over his mouth. Yes. In the, scene. the bloopers from that are hilarious yeah. too. She just keeps cracking him up because yeah. she's just saying crazy stuff to him. Then yeah. At the end when they film the sex scene and she's like eating this foot. This fun stuff. <laughs> so good. She's like, like my meat fly. Exactly. <laughs> like talking the sandwich to him. Uh huh. Incredible. The stuff I can only imagine how fun they would be to go to like dinner with. Oh yeah, not if that's the table. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Good stuff. I'm gonna go back and rewatch this movie. It's so good. Is mm -hmm. this one y'all watch a lot? Like I know y'all y'all both clearly love movies. I I don't watch a lot of movies. Surprisingly, not anymore. But you that you did for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Vanderpump rules just consume. That's your life. true. Yeah. Once we get through that, then we'll be able to come back and. I, I guess at the end of the day, too. <laughs> I can't with that. <laughs> I just like want to watch something mindless so much of the time because I've like been at work all day and a show that like it's hard to like focus on a whole movie. That's true. But movies like this can function yeah, that way, too. Movies true. you've seen a million times. Yeah. Just throw it on in the background. This like is definitely probably a, one of the movies I've seen the most. Mm hmm. What what others? Do you have anything else? I guess Wedding for Guffman, probably. Yeah. Um Wedding Crashers. Oh yeah. 
Anchorman. I'm like a big like I like comedies from that time. 2005. Yeah, six. Dodgeball. Uh, what's that movie where all those girls are in a psych ward? Oh, um. I watched that like Girl Interrupted. Yeah, you watch, I watched that with you. <laughs> I watched, yeah, I like, I do like Girl that movie. Uh, I it's haven't a, seen it. Uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie, Jolie. Brittany oh. Murphy. Oh yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. not a comedy at all. It is. Wild, it's very dark. I thought I was in for a romping good time when we put it on, and it was like <laughs> it's not a romp. Intense within the first five minutes. But it's like, it is Whoa. a great great movie. Very good. Um, I, not like, a lot recent. A superstar. I love superstar. Oh, man. Love. That was like one of the first SNL movies I ever saw. It's so good. It's so funny. Will Ferrell. It was one of the first ones, right? I think it had to have been. Yeah. I don't remember any before that. Um, well, was it Blues Brothers? Adam Sandler. Oh, there's yeah, like Blues, Blues Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, dude. All right. <laughs> dude, hey, Aaron. It's a beautiful mind. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful this mind. This is where dude. it starts. This is where the iconic scene starts. It's so good. Well, Chris and Wig, her I, her dancing. It's so funny every time. It's incredible. So good. Yeah. And then Rose Byrne says something here, and she reacts to Rose Byrne so funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Did you? <laughs> so good. Oh, yeah. Classic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so great. Wow. What are you guys talking about up here? We are um, we're going to a restaurant tonight. I know the owner. Yeah. So he's just you coming. do? Oh, Helen is the owner. Mm. Big whoop. It's so good. Yeah, here's yeah. the part. I'm trying to think of what other movies. Here's Stove. Definitely, <laughs> like, opposite. Like, Aaron really likes, like, very serious. Like, you rewatch serious movies a lot. All, all the time, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm more of a Rudy, was your pick? I'm more of a comedy, comedy girl. I think mm -hmm. when it comes to movies, that is true, and TV, I guess too. Mm -hmm. I don't like comedies. It's weird because you I don't perform like, comedy. Yeah, I don't like laughter. And <laughs> 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 do you even do you like Anchorman? You're not. I I love Anchorman. I never got favorites. swept up in it like everyone. I, what I everyone could quote else like top to bottom. I would say it was a big one for me. I, weirdly, yeah. in that era, though, one that like sneaky that I watch all the time, Bruce Almighty. Never got into it. Oh man, so I've I'm just seen it. To rub that religion. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. Bruce before. Almighty, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? They did another one. Yeah. Evan, Evan Almighty. Um, that yeah, one was yeah. really oh. bad. I that was Steve like Carell. That. What are you talking about? It was, was still great. bad. Criminally. Oh. I like Steve Carell. I don't know if I've ever seen a movie with him that I enjoyed. You don't know, like Forty Year Old Virgin? Oh, I do like. Sorry, yeah. I do. I love forty year old. Virgin. That's what made The Office a hit TV show. You don't like The Big Short? I never saw it. I don't think I would <laughs> like it. You oh. wouldn't like The Big <laughs> Short. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> like movies that have mostly men. Oh, I'm men sorry. You don't like <laughs> Fox Catcher? <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, Sisters this weekend. It, That's like, a good started one. Playing right after this on Amazon. Yeah. And I mean, it's Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. Oh, it's okay. actually pretty good. The cast is amazing. Yeah. Like I started like. Because I hadn't seen it. Yeah. And it just low key it was like Ike Barinholtz. And like, yeah. You just kinda I feel watching. like it got no, like, I feel like it got bad reviews or something because nobody ever talks about it, but it was pretty good. I've never heard of that movie. It's the Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. We'll watch it. Mm, I we'll thought you were talking about think. Sister Sister with Tia and Tamara Mallory. It's a great TV show. <laughs> <laughs> or S Sister Act, another good movie. Sister Act's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. It's about Catholic, Catholic nuns. Yep. That's true. So one thing we've been asking our guests, which I realize won't work with you, we've been asking them <laughs> when would... they found out Santa Claus wasn't real. Oh, I told everybody in like first oh, no. grade. Yeah, Lucy but my mom, too. my mom's side of the family is not Jewish. My okay. mom yeah. married my dad, and she converted. So we did like a couple of Christmases with Santa Claus, and it, then I figured it out. Did you think yeah. Santa was was real when you were? I mean, I think when I was like three, right to. Five. And then you found out. Yeah. Were you told or did you just? You I know, don't remember the details. But you do. It remember, wasn't you, meaningful. To you me. told your whole first. Grade I told class? people. Yeah. Okay. You didn't stand up at school. I don't think there. I stood up, but I do remember telling a group of people, uh -huh. and they weren't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd have been devastated. <laughs> yeah.
I didn't believe the girl that told me that. I was like, you stupid. Yeah, you're like, oh, no it stinks for you, dude. <laughs> he lives in your heart. <laughs> and if you don't believe in him, then yeah, he is not real. But I believe he <laughs> pulled that card. Dude. He only believes in you if you believe in him. You know what I mean? I don't like Santa Claus. <laughs> I, like I don't like his vibe. <laughs> his vibe? He's going to get me too soon. We all know it. Like yeah. Sneaking in the houses. Yeah. Exactly. It's St. Saint, Saint Nicholas. Can That's it who be? it's based on. Okay. Who's who is a saint. Yeah, pretty good dude. <laughs> Catholic don't, saint. They don't just give that title away. And he would give give gifts to underprivileged families. Kind of like we did here on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> St. <Saint> Nick, dog. <laughs> yeah. This underprivileged podcast. Like, you don't like my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to use this. This is unbelievable. One thing, uh, when I was doing some research on you, Lucy, I saw yeah. that you made a big deal about uh, about uh, Chris Rock uh, c- performing at Zany's. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, t- twice now, right? Yeah. Is, two, is he your favorite weekends. comedian? No, but it was very cool. <laughs> and he's uh, he's had some great specials. But Probably the most high-profile comedian that's been at the club since you've been there, right? Uh, him, Louis yeah. C.K. We came oh to that yeah, Louis show. yeah, him and hilarious. Louis. Um, I mean Chelsea Handler, maybe I'd put up there. In uh, terms of fame and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Honestly, Matt Rife. Yeah, yeah, not yeah for sure. Uh huh. I didn't know that at the time, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Elliot White opened for Matt in Huntsville, and he texts me. I was like, "Dude, how was that?" And he's like, "The most hot girls I've ever seen in the crowd." <laughs> yeah, yeah it's pretty. It. Yeah, wild. he's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It all sold out, I'm sure. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, pretty crazy, dude. That's what's coming from me. But, yeah, no, I mean, the Chris <laughs> Rock thing was very cool, for sure. Yeah. Watch Chris Rock finds this podcast of me saying he, like, immediately saying, no, he wasn't my favorite. We're going to clip yeah. that part out of <laughs> Just, <that'll> no. Be... <laughs> Zany's Booker He's hates great. Chris Rock. He's great. <laughs> it's just not my favorite, you know? But. Cool to have. So, Very what's cool. been the most surreal moment? Would you say where you just kind of looked up and were just like, "I can't believe we're doing this right now." That is such a hard question. You've had a lot of those. I feel yeah. like I've had so many of them. For like me personally in my career, getting to work like with Nate, producing these like these, cl- uh, spe- I guess would you call them specials? Uh, they're not specials per se. But uh, like a series that he's working on and just getting to like kind of be his like partner. on. Yeah, that. Lucy booked those for Nate and worked with him. And, and he was really happy with it. So it just really made me feel. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, but there's been so many moments. A lot like of like little festival. small moments. I remember one in particular yeah. where we were in when I was doing the Opry. Yeah. And we were in the green room. Yeah. And this kid ran this like toddler <laughs> ran into the green room. And we were like, what? And then Marin Morris, the country singer, runs in and is like, sorry, guys, and like picks up the kid and walks out. <laughs> you like, remember that? Yeah, that was cool. We were like, Probably a more surreal moment for you. but No, but you're the one that commented on it. You're like, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. What a weird no, for sure. life we're living. Yeah. Where Marin Morris's kid just ran in our dressing yeah, room. Yeah, I mean, there's so many moments where you're just like sitting at a table with people that you've like been a fan of for mm-hmm. so long. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, this is so crazy that these people are like a part of my life and it's normal for me to be sitting here. Right. Like, you know, the guy that killed Bin Laden. <laughs> oh, yeah. I went to. <laughs> he oh, came God. with Kid Rock. I'm going to get canceled. The this story. <laughs> I went to Kid Rocks with the guy that killed Bin Laden. Robert O'Neill. Jimmy John, like. The man who created the Jimmy John what, sandwiches. Be, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that's someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Steve Byrne. Yeah. Miranda Lambert's husband, for some reason, yeah. was there. Kid Rock. Kid Rock. And me. And yeah. I think maybe my coworker, Rachel, was there. I mean, there. that's a crew right there. You're rolling around with Kid Rock, Robert O'Neill from SEAL Team 6. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy John. Yeah. It sounds like a dream almost. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, insane. there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of moments in my life where I've been somewhere with a group of people and been like this is the like a fever dream. Yes. Yeah, a crazy group though. Yeah. But that night in particular was funny because Steve Byrne got on stage with Kid Rock's like band and just started having the crowd chant 
when I say Jimmy, you say John. <laughs> and then at one point he was having them chant, when I say bean, you say sprouts, because you can get bean sprouts on their sandwiches. <laughs> it was, oh, Josh Wolf was there that night, too. Yeah, it was, it was quite a crew. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other surreal. I can think of one right now, dude. I mean, with you guys, <laughs> I get it, man. We're, we're on a shirt. <laughs> well, seriously, though, uh, the last time we were here and y'all invited us to the green room yeah. and we were just sitting around with yeah. all the comedians. I mean, that was probably one of our more surreal yeah. moments yeah. just because we were man. looking around and it was like, whoa, we've had everybody in this room has yeah. been on our podcast. We're going to have Lucy on soon. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and it, it was cool. Me and Nick were talking about just how how much you like. Uh, just captivated everybody and just went on all your storytelling and it, it was, it was, it was, night, it was just funny to see. It's a fun hang for yeah. sure, man. We'll do we'll do it again. What show was that after? That was Jeffrey Jeffrey. Jeffrey oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and Tommy that was such Schneeman. a good show. Yeah, it was fun. Y'all play that game with Bishop where you tell him white actors and he has to name them. Oh, Aaron has. Mm-hmm. I want to get that made into a game. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like, we need to. Of uh, like cards. Oh, that's yeah. great. And play you that with Bishop. Bishop's like, who that dude? Uh, I'm like, Adrian Brody. Okay. It'll be like somebody like, <laughs> how have you never I seen that at, guy before? I was at Tin Roof after Uncle Laser's show. <laughs> a comedian mm. named Uncle Laser. Uh, and it was a bunch of comics and we're all hanging out. And it was Zach Townsend was there. And Zach went to get a drink. And he comes out with a drink and with bishop bishop was just at tin roof and it was so funny was. <laughs> it was perfect that kind of guy yeah so while bishop was in doing don't tell mm-hmm. he's literally doing don't tell and this guy runs up behind him like the, there's a glass background and starts just like dancing i saw the video of that oh, that is the, the crackhead one of the greatest, on the street yeah that video is so funny <laughs> and the whole time and this is in the middle of doing like a bit about like a kind of a gay guy in an interaction. And uh-huh. the whole time I'm like, we're just, I'm like in the back, like Bishop. You're going to turn, turn around. around. Like this yeah. is so. Uh, how long did it take him to realize? So what's so funny and what you didn't see is the guy dances and the guy's like talking and stuff. And finally he like walks off and you're like, oh, that's over. And then about 15 seconds passes and the dude just sprints by the window oh, that's as so fast funny. as humanly possible with his arms like. <laughs> fully extended and it was such a like laugh yeah but it was like in the middle was of the, the crowd sentence. laughing at all this oh yeah and bishop had no idea no clue. he's like man i'm killing <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now yeah. Dude, it was so funny that's um, great but he killed that set he did he did great but god that was such a funny moment yogi bear is deja vu all over again he said that okay it's his quote <laughs> yeah he said nobody comes here anymore because it's too crowded <laughs> yeah he had a bunch of those aphorisms they're called Reed you got anything else no I think I think that about does it I, I love on this I looked at it career highlights the first thing it says sideline most of the last season with a shoulder injury yeah <laughs> shoulder injury yeah but no I'm good I got some reading to do so all right good deal man well thank y'all for Thanks. having us no we thank had a you good so time. much for taking time out of y'all's day to of course. come over here and hang appreciate out. it you want to finish this you hear this no okay. you can have it <laughs> <laughs>